In this short video, we're going to talk about how to share information with students and their families through a course update, but also promoting it to becoming a course announcement. In that way, the information will be accessible throughout the course and will also be present in a prominent location on the screen for easy access. In this case, we're going to have a specific application of this process by creating what's called a course dashboard or an opportunity for students and their families to have links to external resources through Schoology in a place that's easy to find. We're going to begin by logging into Schoology and you'll notice we're in the update screen, but I'm going to go ahead and leave Schoology for a moment and go to our word processor. This could be Microsoft Word, it could be WordPerfect, it could be a shared um, Google document or something similar. In this case, we are going to use Google Docs. And I'm going to begin by creating a table. In this case, I have three resources that I've already linked up here in different tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and go to insert table and I need three columns and two rows. I've also already got, taken the time to find the images that associate with these three resources and saved them to my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and upload them. Now you'll notice that when I create these images in the table, there are varying sizes. So I'll need to adjust the size. In addition, I need to remember to center these images to make sure that when I shrink this down, they are centered over the column. Otherwise, it can make the formatting seem a little clunky for the parents and for the students. And this neatens up the presentation altogether. So I'm going to go ahead and center. Then I'm going to go down below and I'm going to create, create a caption for each of these images. You'll notice that the caption is not necessarily the resource itself, but how the students perceive the resource. For example, clever is not going to be listed as clever. It's our single sign on for our intervention resources. So what I'm going to call it is intervention resources. In the case of discovery education, we do know that it's discovery education, and this is our textbook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the course textbook. I'm going to go in and embed the links. I've already found the links here in different tabs, and I'm going to go ahead and paste them in using the feature that I have here in Google, in Google Documents. You'll notice that this process may be a little bit different if you're using a different resource. So please take the time to learn how to embed links in whichever word processing tool you are using. Feel free to reach out to your technology coach or reach out to a friend to learn more about how to do this. Once I'm finished, I'm going to go into my table. I'm going to go down to table properties and I'm going to remove the table border. Again, this neatens up the presentation and makes it look more like a dashboard and less like a table. Now I'm going to hit control A and that's to select the entire image. It's a little bit different in a Mac. Control C to copy. I'm going to go to my course updates and hit control V and you'll notice that it's pasted in. And if I click on one of these images, nothing happens yet. This is because I haven't posted it. This is the important part. At this point, if I clicked post, this would become an update and it would stay in the updates and it would be a great resource for parents and for students. However, what I want to do is I want to promote this and create an announcement. So I'm going to go beside the post icon and click here. You'll notice I could paste this to Twitter and Facebook, but in this case, I'm not doing that. I want to post it as a course announcement. And then I'm going to click post. At this point, you'll notice the links have appeared I can click on these icons to create the links and it is above the course updates. If I go to course materials, I will see the course materials, but these announcements will remain. And this is how to create a course dashboard for your Schoology course.